which of the following is the sum of the two polynomials shown above? So x squared terms, I have 8 of them after I combine. x terms, I have negative 7 after I combine. And the number terms, I have minus 4. So 8x squared minus 7x minus 4. So we can add together negative 1 and positive 1. They go away. And then we have a squared plus a. So first I'll distribute the 3 and the 5. Then I'll combine like terms. And if I move all the x's to the right and the numbers to the left, I have negative 25 after subtracting 10 from both sides. And here I have 8 minus 2a multiplied by x. At this point, they're telling me that there's no value to satisfy it, so I'm looking for an untrue statement. So when will this equal to 0? If I can figure that out, then I know that this will never be true. So 8 minus 2 times what gives me 0? 8 minus 2 times 4. First, I'll distribute the 2x and the 3. Then I'll combine like terms. And we can see here that 6x squared matches up with ax squared. We can also see that 19x matches up with bx. They want to know the value of b, so the answer is 19. First I will distribute the 2 and the 8. Then we combine like terms. I'll move all the numbers to the right and all the p's to the left. So I have 5p is equal to 6. If I divide both sides by 5, I have 6 fifths, or 1.2 as my final answer. The sum of these two polynomials can be written in a form ax squared plus bx plus c. What is the value of a plus b plus c? So 3 minus 2 leaves me with x squared. There's a 1 there. Plus 8x plus 23. So I'm adding 1 plus 8 plus 23. This gives me 32. First we distribute the 5 and the 3, then we combine like terms. And I notice that the 3x squared plus 5x parts match. The only thing left is 2a and 4. So 2a is equal to 4. If you divide, a is equal to 2. First I'll distribute the 10, then I combine like terms. Then I'm going to add together the coefficients, so 200 plus 6432 is 66. 32.